This is the coolest thing ever, by the way. You guys seen this yet? Nope. Oh, oh that awesome. is sick. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Between Two Barrels. I'm Pete, and this is Nick. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, one of the most common misconceptions from consumers in our store, and that is pink wines. Pink wines. So, we are going to be talking about a blush rosé here, a dry style wine, and the exact opposite end of the spectrum, a blush white zin, which is as sweet as you get. Yep. Two totally different wines here, uh, made differently, taste different, they look different. I mean, look at that here. It's almost got a, almost a fluorescent pink color Yes, they there. do. So we have a lot of both of these in our store. We just brought two examples of each, um, two of our best sellers in each of these categories. Uh, it, it's a common misconception when people want rosé, often they think it's only a sweet wine. Uh, but most of the rosés, and actually where it originated from, was uh, traditionally a dry wine. Let's try the dry one first. So this is uh, the Real Doire Real uh, from the Provence region in France, which mm -hmm. is one of the most popular and most common regions of uh, where dry rosés come from, um, but not isolated to this region. We also have the Finger Lakes, uh, California, Spain, Italy, um, pretty much... Many anywhere, different places they can wine, do that. Yeah, you can exactly. make a rosé. This is excellent. The, oh yeah. Sorry. I, I, I'll I let bet you it take is. Time. I'll have another. It's crisp. It's acidic. You get a little bit of a sweet strawberry, like a freshly cut strawberry perhaps. Yeah. But not, not like a sugary sweetness. Maybe a little sweetness from the fruit. Yeah. Totally different than the sweetness in a white zin, which you're going to actually get residual sugars. They will, they literally put sugar into the wine to hit that certain uh, flavor profile they're looking for. I'm not a huge sweet wine guy, so uh, Ooh, we'll see it how smells this like goes. candy. Cheers. Uh, and this is the Behringer Made yeah. in Vine White Zen. We also have the Sutter Home White Zen here, two of our best selling white Zins in the store. Haven't had white Zen in a while, so. Ooh, Pete. Didn't like it, huh? Uh, so, white Zen's not for everyone, but. Jesus. The, uh, Christmas. Jesus Christmas. Um, <sighs> Like, White Zen's not for everyone, but it is uh, a wine that's approachable to many. Um, it has that sweetness, a great stepping stone into wines if you're not a big wine drinker. But it also has a lot of artificial sugar and artificial color added to it, unfortunately. Yeah. But, you know, so does it's, uh, it's Coca-Cola. It's got that sweet candy to it. I could see why people like this. I mean, it's, it's, it's sugary sweet. Uh, the Behringer White Zen here. Um, not my style wine. I'm more of the, the French rosé, uh, perhaps. And then here we have the Mud Pie, which is, which is a California rosé, wonderful producer, small production. Um, I actually really liked the White Zen. Yeah. <laughs> um, and many people do. Hey, you know, there's, no. there's a wine out there for everyone. Yeah. And if you're more of a, uh, you got more of a sweet tooth, then, then White Zen would be good for you. Absolutely. Um, I personally tend to navigate towards the, the, the French rosés in particular. Mm -hmm. um, the Real Dior here, I, I find to be a great value, good buy. Mm -hmm. uh, high in alcohol too, by the way, I forgot to mention that. 13% alcohol, which um, it's pretty high for a blush wine. And, Whereas uh, the yeah. sweeter what wines, what is the alcohol on that? I'm, I'm, 10%, oh, which is pretty high, but it's fortified with added sugar. So, so typically the higher the alcohol, the less sweet the wine is. So that's a great example of those two drastic differences there. Anyways, you can pick up any of these wines you see here at Pascal's Liquors Square on Erie Boulevard or Pascal's Liquors out in Route 57 in Liverpool. And if you can't make it out, we'll bring it to your door, download the Drizzly app, and uh, we'll bring this door to your door. Piece of cake. Yeah. Cheers. Hope we see you guys soon.